Okay, hello, my name is um, William. Okay, today, today I'm going to read another part about to read um, Nehemiah chapter 2. And it came to pass for the month of Nisan, in the 20th year, Artaxerxes, the king of the wine, was before. I took up the wine, and I gave it to the king, and I had not seen before time, said his, and said in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Wherefore thy conduct is sad, see thou art not sick? There is nothing to sorrow of heart, and then I was I was sore afraid, and said to the king, The king live forever, why should my countenance be sad? And then see the place of my father's sepulchres lieth waste, and gates are up, and consumed with fire. And the king said unto me, What thou what dost thou what do, what doest what dost thou make request? So I pray uh, the pray to the God of heaven. So unto the king, if please the king, if thy servant have found favor in my sight in thy sight, thou wouldest said send me unto Judah, and unto the city of my father, see Polgers, I might build it. And the king said unto me, The queen also saying to him, For how long thy journey be? And wilt thou return? So it so it pleased the king to send me, I sent out a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it pleased the king, let letters be given me unto the governors beyond the river, and that may co convey me over till I come unto Judah. And the letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the keep's forest, and he may give the timber of the two big beans and for the gates of the palace which pertain to the house of the wall of the city, and for the house that shall enter into. And the king gathered me. According to the God, okay, according to the good hand of my God upon me, then came the governors beyond the river, and gave them the king's letters. So he kept it on the arm of his hand, horsemen with me. And when said that whore night to be the, the servant, the other night, I heard of it. I grieved him exceedingly, and I was command, I was coming to man to seek welfare, and of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem, was there three days. And I was in the nights, and, uh, and some of you met with me, neither told any man what my God put him in the heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was any beast with me, and save the beast I rode upon. He came up by night and gave the valley even before the dragon, and with a dug part of the few of the walls of the Jerusalem, which were breaking down, and the gates are up, the work on suited fire. Now I went to the gate of the fountain of the king's pool, and there was no place of the best under me to pass. And then I went up the night by the brook, feel the wall, and turned back, enter the gate of the valley, and so returned. There was all not whither I went, and I did neither hand, as yet I told to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, and nor to the rest that did the work. And I said to him, Yes, see the distress we are in. And now Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates are burned with fire. Come, let us up the wall of Jerusalem, that is, there would be no more reproach. I told him the hand of my God, which was upon me, and also the king's word has spoken to, unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they, so they strengthened their hands for this good work. For when the Sanballat, the whore knight, and Tobia, the servant, and the Ammonite, and Geshem, and Arabian, heard it, and laughed us to scorn, and despised us, and said, What is the thing that ye do? But is rebel against the king. And, and, answered, I, and answered I, then said unto him, The God of heaven, he will prosper us, Wherefore his servants will arise and build 
and he had no portion nor a right nor royal in Jerusalem. Okay, that's ending of Nehemiah chapter 2. And then next we'll read Nehemiah chapter 3. Okay, you're going to have to go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.